Welcome to the F-Bomb Podcast. I'm your host, Shannon Schroeder, Executive Function Coach. I help neurodivergent women learn tips and strategies to improve the life skills that will help them be successful. Strategies for Managing Attention in the Workplace As an executive function coach, I understand the challenges you face when it comes to managing attention in the workplace. We all want to improve our ability to pay attention and focus at work. Whether you work in a demanding professional environment or you work from home by yourself, the ability to maintain and direct your attention effectively is paramount. When you struggle with executive functioning, maintaining focus can be particularly challenging. Distractions, competing priorities, and the constant influx of information can easily derail your attention, leading to decreased efficiency and effectiveness in your tasks. Lapses in attention can hinder your ability to absorb and retain information, hampering your professional growth and potential. From optimizing your workspace to leveraging technology, managing your time effectively, and adopting mindfulness practices, you can use a wide range of strategies tailored to your unique needs to improve your attention control. By implementing these approaches, you'll not only enhance your ability to sustain attention, but also improve your overall work performance and increase your productivity. Understanding Workplace Attention Challenges Attention-related difficulties can present significant challenges for neurodivergent women. It's essential to recognize and understand the common obstacles you may encounter in order to address them effectively. One of the primary attention-related difficulties is sustaining focus on a single task for an extended period. You may find yourself easily distracted by external stimuli stimuli or internal thoughts, making it difficult to maintain concentration and productivity. Additionally, organizing and prioritizing tasks can be overwhelming, leading to scattered attention and a sense of being overwhelmed. Another version of this challenge is managing attention during meetings or lengthy discussions. It's not uncommon to find your mind wandering or struggling to stay engaged, particularly when the topics aren't stimulating or when the conversation becomes overly detailed or repetitive. Workplace Distractions Workplaces can be rife with distractions that impede your ability to maintain attention. Open office environments, constant email notifications, phone calls, and interruptions from colleagues all contribute to a fragmented focus. The pressure to multitask can also undermine attention and hinder productivity. The nonstop barrage of digital distractions doesn't help. The allure of social media, instant messaging, and endless online content can pull your attention away from important work tasks, leading to decreased efficiency and performance. The constant bombardment of information and the expectation of immediate responses can create a cycle of perpetual distraction. The Impact of Neurodivergent Conditions For neurodivergent people, attention challenges in the workplace can stem from various underlying conditions. Neurodivergent conditions such as ADHD, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, autism spectrum disorders, or specific learning disabilities can significantly impact attention and focus. People with ADHD often struggle with sustaining attention, organizing tasks, and regulating impulses. They may experience difficulties in filtering out distractions and shifting their focus between tasks. Autism spectrum disorders can manifest in unique attention patterns with individuals either hyper-focusing on specific topics or experiencing sensory overload that disrupts their attention. Specific learning disabilities such as dyslexia or dyscalculia can affect attention when engaging with complex information or performing detailed tasks. Recognizing the impact of these neurodivergent conditions on attention is crucial for developing tailored strategies to improve focus and productivity. By understanding the unique ways in which your attention may be affected, you can work towards implementing targeted solutions to address these challenges effectively. Create an optimal work environment. The first step in managing attention is to create an environment that will help you control where your attention is placed. For the following suggestions, you need to consider what actually works for you and what doesn't. Personally, I can work in a totally silent room, but I'm not as efficient or productive. Too much silence is eerie and my mind starts to wander. So for me, making my workplace quieter won't help. Designing a clutter-free and organized workspace. Creating a clutter-free and organized workspace is essential for boosting attention and focus in the workplace. A disorganized environment can contribute to mental clutter and distractions, making it challenging to stay on task. The level of organization versus clutter is unique to you. Don't put things away if you know that that they might as well be lost for good. Consider the following the tips to design an optimal workspace. Number one, declutter. Start by clearing your desk of unnecessary items and organizing your materials. Keep only the essentials within reach to minimize visual distractions. Number two, use storage solutions. 
Invest in storage containers, shelves, or filing systems to keep your workspace tidy and ensure easy access to important documents or supplies. Number three, personalize mindfully. While it's essential to personalize your workspace, be mindful of not overloading it with too many personal items. Select a few meaningful objects or images that inspire and motivate you. Minimizing noise and visual distractions. Noise and visual distractions can significantly impact your ability to maintain attention. Minimizing these distractions is crucial for creating an environment conducive to focus. Consider the following strategies. Number one, use noise canceling headphones. If your workplace is noisy, invest in noise canceling headphones to block out external sounds and create a quieter environment. Number two, designate quiet zones. If possible, find a quiet area in your workplace where you can retreat to when you need to concentrate on complex tasks or projects that require sustained attention. Number three, manage visual distractions. Arrange your workspace to minimize visual distractions. Position your desk away from high traffic areas or distracting views. Use screens or dividers to create a sense of privacy and reduce visual disruptions. If the noise of your workplace bothers you, but you don't perform well in silence either, you might want to try listening to white noise or whatever color noise suits you. Establishing clear boundaries and minimizing interruptions. Establishing clear boundaries and minimizing interruptions can vastly help in managing attention and focus during work hours. Obviously, you can't control other people, but you can train them. Consider implementing the following strategies. Number one, communicate your needs. Clearly communicate your work requirements and preferences to colleagues, supervisors, and clients. Let them know when you need uninterrupted time to focus and request their cooperation in minimizing interruptions. Number two, use visual cues. Use visual cues such as a do not disturb sign or closed office door to signal your need for uninterrupted focus. This can help deter unnecessary interruptions. Number three, schedule designated work blocks. Allocate specific time blocks in your schedule for focused work. During these periods, turn off notifications, close email tabs, and set your phone to silence and to silent mode to minimize distractions and interruptions. By creating an optimal work environment, you can set yourself up for success to boost attention and improve productivity. Minimize digital distractions. As I mentioned, we are expected to be accessible all the time. As great as our phones and the internet are, it's not healthy for people to be on 24 seven. We shouldn't expect instantaneous responses from anyone. If we're being honest, most of the digital interruptions we deal with on a daily basis are not urgent. They're just distractions. Managing email. Email overload can be a significant source of digital distraction in the workplace, impeding attention and productivity. Implement the following strategies to manage emails effectively. Set specific times. Rather than constantly checking your inbox throughout the day, designate specific times to check and respond to emails. This way, you can allocate focused attention to this task without interrupting your workflow. And you can let colleagues, clients, etc. know when your schedule times are so they will know when to expect a response. They won't email five times asking if you got the first email. Prioritize and categorize. Develop a system for prioritizing and categorizing emails based on urgency and importance. Create folders or labels to sort incoming messages and ensure you address the most critical ones first. Unsubscribe and filter. Take the time to unsubscribe from unnecessary mailing lists or newsletters that clutter your inbox. Additionally, use filters and rules to automatically route specific types of emails to designated folders, keeping your inbox organized and reducing distractions. Social media and the internet. Social media and internet browsing can easily become major distractions, pulling your attention away from work tasks. Consider the following strategies to minimize these distractions. Establish boundaries. Set clear rules for yourself regarding social media and internet browsing during work hours. Allocate specific breaks for personal internet use or consider designating a separate device for personal use. Remove shortcuts and bookmarks. Eliminate easy access to social media platforms and non-work related websites by removing shortcuts and bookmarks from your browser. This reduces the temptation to engage in mindless scrolling or browsing. If you leave the tab open and just say you won't look at it, we all know that's a lie. You might not intend to look at it, but you will, especially if the tasks you are working on are boring. Use website blockers. If you find it challenging to resist the pull of certain websites or apps, consider using website blocking applications or browser extensions. These tools can temporarily block access to distracting websites during designated work periods. 
If you know you can't resist, these tools remove the temptation altogether. You can't get on the block sites until you finish the work you're supposed to do. In addition, some of them gamify the experience so you have fun while doing your work. Seek support and accommodations. This part can be tricky. When I'm working with teens or college students, I am all about getting every accommodation possible. I always tell students to ask for everything knowing that it won't all get approved, but it will give them options for how to proceed. Out in the workforce, things are different. I know many women are hesitant to share a diagnosis with their bosses or HR. Sometimes it's about not wanting to be treated differently or seen as different, but other times they fear they will lose their job. To the first reason I say, you are different. By definition, neurodivergence means you are different. You can get accommodations that will level the play, playing field because that's what the purpose of them that's the purpose of accommodations. So why not set yourself up for success? For the second reason, you know your workplace. And if being honest puts your job at risk, you might want to skip this section. But I would also ask why you would want to work at a place that would treat you that way. Communicating with supervisors or HR. Open and honest communication with your supervisor or human resources department about your attention challenges has to happen in order to obtain the support you need. Consider the following steps when addressing this issue. Schedule a meeting. Request a meeting with your supervisor or HR representative to discuss your attention challenges. Choose a time when you can have a focused conversation without interruptions. Explain your challenges. Clearly articulate the specific attention-related difficulties you face and how they impact your work. Provide examples to help illustrate the challenges you encounter. Offer potential solutions. This is so important. Most jobs won't offer you anything, but if you come with suggestions for what will work with, for you, they will accommodate you. Propo propose strategies or accommodations that you believe will be beneficial in addressing your attention challenges. This proactive approach shows your commitment to finding effective solutions. Seeking support from colleagues. Depending on how open you are about your diagnosis, you might want to consider letting your colleagues know how you work best. Again, you know the culture and environment of your workplace best, so if it makes you uncomfortable, don't do it. Seeking support from colleagues and fostering a collaborative work environment can significantly contribute to attention and productivity. Consider the following strategies. Share your challenges. Openly discuss your attention challenges with trusted colleagues or team members. Sharing your experiences can increase understanding and empathy and may even elicit help, helpful suggestions or support. Collaborate and delegate. When appropriate, collaborate with colleagues or delegate tasks to ensure a more balanced workload. Working together can help alleviate the pressure of managing multiple responsibilities independently, allowing for better focus and attention. Utilize teamwork strategies. Implement strategies that promote effective teamwork, such as clear communication channels, regular check-ins, and shared calendars. These practices can help minimize misunderstandings and ensure smooth coordination, reducing potential distractions. Continuous learning and skill development. Implementing strategies to improve your attention control is a start. You should, however, be willing to continue to learn about your neurodivergence and how it impacts attention. Investing in your professional and personal development can significantly enhance your attention skills and overall performance in the workplace. Attend relevant workshops and conferences. Look for workshops or conferences focused on attention, focus, or cognitive skills. These events provide opportunities to learn from experts, gain new insights, and acquire practical strategies for improving attention. Take online courses or webinars. Explore online platforms that offer courses or webinars specifically designed to improve attention and focus. These resources often provide structured learning experiences and practical exercises to enhance your skills. Mindfulness training. Participate in mindfulness-based training programs that teach techniques for cultivating present moment awareness and improving focus. These practices can help strengthen attentional abilities. Cognitive training programs. Explore cognitive training programs specifically designed to enhance attention and cognitive functioning. These programs often involve structured exercises and activities that target attentional processes. Time management workshops. Attend workshops or seminars on effective time management techniques. Learn strategies that to prioritize tasks, manage distractions, and optimize workflow can have significant impact on your attention and productivity. Read books and articles. Explore literature on attention, focus, and cognitive function. Books and articles written by experts can provide valuable insights, practical tips, and evidence-based strategies for improving attention. Follow thought leaders and researchers. 
identify thought, reader, thought leaders, researchers, or professionals in the field of attention and cognitive science. Follow their work through blogs, podcasts, or social media platforms to stay updated on the latest research and recommendations. Seek mentorship or coaching. Engage with me- mentors or coaches who specialize in attention-related skills. These individuals can provide guidance, personalized strategies, and ongoing support to help you enhance your attention abilities. Boosting attention and focus in the workplace is a significant challenge, particularly for neurodivergent people. However, by implementing strategies, you can create an environment conducive to optimal attention and productivity. You will have to try a variety of strategies to find the ones that work best for you. And as always, remember that this type of personal development and change takes time. Be patient with yourself. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the F-Bomb podcast. Thank you for listening. Remember to subscribe below and check out my show notes to learn more about my Facebook group, courses, and membership. Mm -hmm.